Hey beautiful people, this is your cat Daddy Jackson here to talk about catifying for harmony, catification. Are you ready to have a home that the whole family will love? And I mean cats and humans? Of course you are, that's why you're here people. Now let's get catified. Catification, if you did not know, is the art of designing for you and your cat at the same time. It's not too heavy on the cat side, definitely not too heavy on the human side, but everyone's got to be happy. That is catification. Catifying starts with a basic premise. You got to know who your cat is. Well, first of all, you got to know who all cats are and what they need. And there's plenty of other videos on that to know who cat with a capital C is. Now, getting to know who your cat is, is really about knowing where in the vertical world they get their mojo where they get their confidence, their swagger. You have seen cats sitting on the floor with their chest up and their ears upright looking at you like, hey, that's right, I own this place. Some cats are on the floor. I call them bush dwellers. Some are up high. I call them tree dwellers. Some, well, I don't have a word for couch dwellers, but you know, right here could be a confident place for your cat. Finding their confident wear is what it's all about. The confident wear, where on the vertical axis your cat becomes their best selves. Lots of cats when they're down on the floor become small and scared, they hide in the closet. But once they get up on this height, let's say, they're a different cat altogether. They find their mojo. Find that in your cat and just do that by observing because you can start building once you know where the confident wear is. Once you've found the confident wear, you can start dealing with cat superhighways, which is getting around the room without touching the floor, the right type of furniture, places where they can cocoon and get safe, places where they're challenged a little bit. Wherever there is that confident wear, you can build for it. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the concept of territorial signposts. When I talk about signposts, I'm talking about about, well, in the human sense, if you have pictures all over your house, framed and sitting on desks and on the mantle, every time you walk by that mantle or that desk and you see the framed pictures of you, your family, your loved ones, you go, that's, that's right. This is my life, I live here, this is my home, this is my life, I mean something, my life means something. For cats, they define that sense of belonging by the things that they can soak their scent into. So when you have blankets around the house where your cats can take turns lying on it, putting their scent into it, into those what I call scent soakers, then they are going to start creating the concept of those safety signposts all over the house. Best thing for you to do, make sure you have plenty of those, you know, and that can actually include beds, scratching posts, since they leave scent and visual markers through their claws, litter boxes. Litter boxes are the kings of scent soakers, the kings of signposts. As you know, you can't have enough of them around the house. I know, you hate when I say that, but I'm saying it again. You can't have enough litter boxes. And what I'm saying here in terms of catification, where you put those boxes is key. You putting three boxes behind the washing machine, in the garage, in the most unlikely places or places where you don't wanna see them doesn't help the cats at all. And I'd like you to consider the idea, bear with me, the idea that litter boxes should go in socially significant areas because honestly, catification and litter box placement included will help forestall a lot of the problems that I see cats deal with, things that wind up with cats peeing outside the box or fighting with each other, all those unconfident markers they put out there, a lot of them have to do with lack of catification. Litter box placement's a big one. Sorry, I know it's the 800 pound gorilla shaped litter box shaped thing in your life, but I wouldn't ask if I didn't think it was important. The next thing we're gonna talk about is cat TV. There's a lot of ways that you can make your cats feel comfortable in your house and also ways to raise their mojo. Like we've talked plenty about playing with your cats, but did you know that cats spend an inordinate amount of time during the day not sleeping as you think they might, but looking out the window. Cat TV is about the things that you can do when they look out the window. If you live in a place where you can put a bird feeder outside your window, that makes for an amazing version of Cat TV. There's also aquariums these days that don't use real fish. They use little plastic fish, little motor activated, little sharks and jellyfish and things like that. It gives your cat something to do with their mind. They are passively engaged in their hunter way without having to actually hunt. It's an amazing way to keep them busy and if you don't have bird feeder access you can still put uh, cat trees in the window you know you can make it so that your cats have something to look out at and if not that there are windowsill beds that you can put in your windowsills make sure 
that every single window in your house to one degree or another has a way for your cats to sit in it, for them to look out at. It is a gimme, amazing way to catify, to keep your cats passively engaged, to keep them busy while you're gone, so that when you come home, they are not this uncontained ball of cat energy. Now the final little piece of catification that I want to talk about is the catio. Now I know that this is something that only applies to certain people. I mean, it's not everybody who has the property to have a catio. You can live in an apartment. But in that respect, anything that you can sort of contain and get your cats even that closer to being outdoors, man, it pays dividends in a huge, huge way. It also creates more territory. Just as we're creating more territory by building up in the world, if you can build out, it's, it's an incredibly beneficial thing, especially if you have a home with multiple cats. It just can't be beat. So if you do have that room, we're talking about being able to uh, enclose in uh, a back patio, for instance. Man, it does amazing things. There's also kits that you can buy so that you can create a little bit of almost a playpen outside for your cats to get that much closer to the outdoor world. Now, you know I'm not a huge fan of cats just going indoors and outdoors. It's just not a safe enough world for them out there. But that said, catios are an amazing compromise where your cats can get more of that fresh air. In a lot of ways, if little bugs come in, they can hunt those bugs. They can get the vitamin D of the sun that they need without you actually letting them outdoors. It's not as hard as you think it is. We go into detail in the books that I've written, uh, in other videos, in plenty of the shows of My Cat From Hell. So uh, consider a catio. So we've been exploring ways to catify for harmony in your house. Number one, you wanna make sure that you're finding that confident wear for all of your cats and then catifying for that mojo-fied area on the vertical axis that your cats are gonna find a lot of comfort in. That's both vertical and horizontal. Tree dwellers, bush dwellers, beach dwellers, dweller dwellers, it's just finding that confident wear. The second important thing in catifying for harmony, territorial signposts. Third important thing for catifying for harmony is cat TV, and the fourth catification element for harmony in your house is a catio. I know that catios might exclude certain aspects of our population, hello apartment dwellers, but if you got the room, use the room. And that goes for everybody. You got the room, use the room. Everyone's got a ceiling, man. Everyone's got about four feet of world that they don't deal with, that the humans don't occupy. Let the cats occupy it, okay? And also, one more word to the wise. I've said this a million times over in different videos. Block off the unders in your house. If your cat's gonna go down low, if they're a bush dweller, it should be your choice and you decide where they're going to go. Under the bed is never a good place for your cat to go because you don't have control over it and they can just stay there all day if they want to. Same thing with the closet. It has to be a space that you can control so that you can say eventually, yeah, you know, you've been here a little too long. We need you to come out and join the world, okay? We've been talking a lot about catification. You think there's a lot to know about catification? Let me tell you something, folks. There's two books, actually two books about catification. It's not that there's uh, so much to know that you can't do anything right now. No excuses, you can do something right this very second. But in the meantime, if you wanna dive deep into the world of catification and designing for your cat, these guys will help you out a whole lot. So anyway, that's catifying for harmony. All light and all love and all mojo to you. Bye guys. Meow.